Hi. Um, I'm gonna have this uh, ringing for uh, uh, ticking for ten minutes, and it'll go ding because uh, it's hard to uh, download videos after ten minutes. I mean, you can download them, but it takes forever, and they usually don't download, especially with the kind of uh, laptop I have. So I'll just put that right here, and it goes ding. Then I'll yeah, okay. Anyway, I'm up to read to you is Daniel 8. And the reason why I'm going to be reading Daniel 8 is because of the way a blamer's uh, acting. Uh, right now, he's. Uh, it sounds like he's really trying to cause a war with Russia. And uh, blaming uh, Russia for uh, uh, hacking uh, into uh, computers and stuff. Uh, it, it, it <laughs> uh, he's trying to say that he he lost the election due to Russia. Well, Russia, we found out, didn't hack. As a matter of fact, when they did the re, the, elect, the electoral recount, uh, Trump actually got more electoral votes. Uh, lost some, but got more than the Hildebeest did. You know, and uh, all Russia did is. If it did hack in, it just let us know just how bad <laughs> Hillary was, you know? That's all. And yet, they're it's basically, they're mad. It's it's sour grapes. Uh, Blamer and Hildebeest, they're the globalists. They're just really pissed that uh, Russia might have shown just how creepy they were, you know? And helped uh, Trump win that way, you know? It's like, how dare you show how evil we are? You know what I mean? But anyway, it sounds like a, bl uh, a blamer is really trying to uh, cause a nuke war with Russia, sending uh, troops and tanks to the borders and uh, kicking out diplomats and stuff like that. Thank God Putin seems to be of a clear head not falling for it. But anyway, uh this video that I'll be making, I think, will only be relevant for another two weeks, and after that, yeah. Uh, uh, basically, I'll read it to you and let you know why I think it might be relevant here. Okay? Daniel 8. <sighs> anyway, I've been... <laughs> I, oh, man. I, I, I've been very familiar with Daniel 8 since... Uh, uh, man long time I, I don't want to go into it so far back but anyway yeah I, we're, we're talking about Reagan days you know what I mean okay in the third year third year of the reign of Belshazzar, Belshazzar a vision appeared uh, unto me even unto me David after that which appeared unto me at the first and I saw in the vision and it came to pass you know, the Book of Mormon should be called And It Came to Pass because it says And It Came to Pass a lot more than the Bible does. And it came to pass when I saw that I was in Shushan, in the palace which is in the province of Elam. Elam is uh, really very close to the... It's it's a... I, be, I, believe, I believe that's where Iran is located now in our time. Uh, and I saw it in a vision and I was by the river of Ulai. Then I lifted up my eyes and saw. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I'm reading from a Bible that is. This is my Bible I've had since I was nine years old, a long time ago, if you know what I mean. I actually got it in the Mormon Church. Funny. Uh, the Holy Bible and the Book of Mormon. It's almost like the Quran and the Bible. They don't. They don't. Uh, <laughs> they don't confirm each other at all. Anyway, I'll continue here. All right. Then I lifted up mine eyes, and saw, and behold, there stood before the river a ram, which had two horns, and the two horns were high, but one was higher than the other, and the higher came up last. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking this ram is Iran in our time, and the two horns are Sunni and Shia Islam. Okay. And the one that came up last, I think, is... And the higher came up last. I think that's Shia Islam. Okay. And right now it's beating Sunni Islam. It's... it's Okay. I saw the ram pushing westward and northward and southward so that no beast uh, might stand before it, before him. 
uh, neither was there any that could deliver out of his hand, but he did according to his will and became great. And a blamer gave Iran $150 billion plus 24 days to hide uh, nuclear uh, bomb-making capability. I mean, he basically gave Iran the bomb. And if you think about it, Iran is now great. All right. As a matter of fact, it can capture our, our Navy soldiers and stuff and and get a blamer to uh, <laughs> uh, give them millions of dollars to as ransom to get them out, to give them lease and stuff like that. It just it, Iran's doing whatever it wants now. Plus, it has Russia behind it. Okay. And I was considering, behold, and he goat came from the West on the face of the whole earth and touched not the ground. It touched not the ground. And I think that if a blamer is going to attack Iran, he's not going to do it with ground troops. He's going to hit it with uh, missiles or, or planes, actually, that will not be touching the ground. All right. And it touched not the ground. And the goat had a notable horn between his eyes. Could be a blamer, this notable horn. Okay. And it came to the ram that had two horns, which I think is Sunni and Shia Islam, which I had seen standing before the river and the ram and 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 and, it ran, and ran at him in the fury of his power. And right now, to me, O'Blamer is furious because Trump is going to kick him out is going to totally, you know, he may not, but the, but a blamer probably doesn't know that he, uh, so he is furious that his a blamer care and everything is going to be, uh, taken down and all his legacy will be is that he armed ISIS and, uh, Benghazi and to try to overthrow, uh, dictators to put in the Muslim Brotherhood and all that stuff, which I think he's greatly a member of. All right. And I saw, he, okay, yeah, yeah. And I saw him come close unto the ram, and he was moved with color, it's anger, against him, and smote the ram, and brake his two horns, and there was no power in the ram to stand before him, but he cast him to the ground, and stamped upon him, and there was none that could deliver the ram out of his hand. Apparently, Russia. Yeah, no, no one can do it. Just blast. Apparently, what's if this is true? Talking about a blamer. He's going to really suck it to Iran within the next two weeks. Uh, maybe. Who knows? Yeah. Therefore, the he-goat waxed very great. In other words, if a blamer does this, and this is talking about blamer, if it is, then this will make a blamer great. And when he was strong, the great horn was broken. Something will happen to a blamer. And for it came up for notable ones toward the four winds of heaven. And out of one of them came forth a little horn, which waxed exceedingly great toward the south and toward the east and toward the pleasant land. And I think the pleasant land is the holy land, which is Israel and stuff like that. So probably what's going to happen here, if this happens, it's going to cause the rise of the Antichrist. You know? And it waxed great, even to the host of heaven, and it cast down some of the host and of the stars to the ground and stamped upon them. Now, this is supposed to be a vision, and to me, stars, when it's talking about stars falling down, a third of this, you know, I don't think that's actual stars, I think it's demonic spirits here. All right, yeah, so the, the, the in other words, the host and, 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 and stamped upon them. Yeah, when, and when, when he stamped upon them, <laughs> I think that means the mark of the beast here. Yeah, he magnified himself even to the prince of the host, and by him the daily sacrifice. I'll stop it here.